What is going on stencil lovers? Welcome back to another tutorial and this time we are going to be looking at how to create uh, a health bar for our uh, bad guy boss enemy Obama. Now um, we the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a game attribute. Let's create a new attribute first and let's call this Obama health. And let's start this value with, um, we'll start with the value of zero, but we should probably be resetting the value every time. Um, so I'm gonna leave, actually leave that at zero. And I'm actually gonna do something in our scene one. So level one. And under events, uh, I'm actually gonna do something. When this is created, not only am I gonna play the background music, uh, I'm actually going to set the value of my Obama health to uh, let's go, uh, give Obama 90 health because he is uh, he's pretty bossy. Uh, so uh, 90 health, a good amount of health, and um, okay, let's get back into our code making. Now we saw uh, where was it under enemy bullets last time when this hacker hit something else. Uh, we were um, we we're killing our bullets. So it turns out that, of course, when we detect a collision between Obama and our bullet, uh, not only are we killing our bullet, but we should also subtract the health of Obama as well. So uh, we're going to do a little bit of math is what we're going to do. So uh, let's see here. We're going to set, actually. Okay, so let's get a setter. So we're going to set our Obama health to... Let's say we're going to do a little bit of math. We're going to do some subtraction. And we're going to have to set the Obama health to whatever it used to be. So we're going to get the value of Obama health. So this is the current value of Obama's health. And let's subtract that by 10. So set the new value of Obama health to the old value of Obama health minus 10. So it'll always take 10 away from the current value of Obama health and then update that to the current Obama health. Okay, so we're gonna put that into here first. So we've taken care of the mathematics of it, but we still haven't shown anything yet. So uh, I'm gonna go over here to Obama and I'm going to create a drawing. Now the drawing I create um, we're going to go into drawings, and we're going to be drawing uh, rectangles. And I'll explain shortly why we're going to uh, be drawing rectangles. Uh, let's get something working first, though. So uh, the rectangle is actually going to be, this is going to be a little bit strange, but at positions 0 and 0, we'll see uh, in a moment why this is. Now, the width of our rectangle is going to be uh, our Obama's health. So we're going to game, go to game attribute, and we're going to look at Obama health, and that's going to be our width. And why we we're doing this is because, uh, as you recall, Obama's health started with a value of 90. And as Obama's health decreases, when, it, uh, when Obama gets hit with bullets, uh, it decreases by 10. So if we make the width uh, of our rectangle uh, according to Obama health, as Obama's health decreases, so will the width of the rectangle. And of course, that means his health bar will also get shorter and shorter. So the height, uh, we're just going to use uh, a fixed value of 10 and an arc, we're going to use 5. Uh, that just says how round uh, our, our rectangle is. So let's see this in action. And we can look at making the health bar look a little bit better next time. Uh, or we can do it uh, this time, a little bit later on, if we have time in this tutorial. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot to get set the, uh, the color of the health bar. But right now we don't see anything because there's no color to our health bar. So we're actually going to fill in our health bar. And under drawings, we're going to go back to styles. And we're going to set a fill color, and usually our uh, health bars are green so we're gonna just choose a, a nice looking green color that looks okay 
So set fill color to green. Again, just select that, choose color, uh, pick your color. Let's try that one more time. And of course, we want to set, uh, we're going to fill our rectangle rather than draw our rectangle. Okay, so there is our health bar. Uh, it's covering Obama's eyes, but uh, let's just see this in action first. I'm going to shoot a bullet at Obama. You can see the health bar is getting uh, shorter and shorter. And 10 hits will uh, decrease his health bar completely. Now, of course, Obama is still alive. And if we walk into Obama, he owns us, right? So uh, naturally, we want to remove the character Obama once his health reaches zero. So let's go into, let's talk about how to do that. So we're gonna add an event. Um, it's gonna be when updating. And as you might imagine, we're going to need to create an if. And uh, we're gonna do a less than or equal to. We're gonna go to game attributes and we're gonna check the health of Obama. So when Obama health is less than or equal to zero, we are going to kill or take away our character, Obama. So kill self. Okay, so let's try that out one more time. Oh, actually we should have fixed up the, uh, we could have moved uh, our Y coordinate up a little bit. So it's a little bit, it's not covering Obama's eyes. Um, I'm gonna do a Maybe minus 10. Oop, it's loading. Okay, so try that one time. Let's fire bullets at Obama. And he disappears. So now uh, we have successfully killed our enemy. But let's just uh, do a quick little check here and see if we can move that health bar up a little bit further. So it's not covering Obama's eyes. It's not very nice. All right, there we go. So now the health bar is just above Obama and it's working as intended. All right guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will create a follow-up tutorial to show you how we can uh, make our health bar look a little bit nicer. See you guys next time.